Hey everybody, it's me, Jessica. Just gonna switch to these sunglasses. Your health fitness program manager from Miter McLean. And I'm here today to guide you through your Tabata HIT workout. Keyword today is gonna be guiding. <laughs> Tried to set class up outside, but you know how Murphy's Law is. It's a great workout for me. I was looking for a solid excuse to wear sunglasses so you didn't have to see the sad, not well look in my face. Let's just rock these for a couple seconds while we set things up inside. Yay! All you need today is yourself and the most energy that you can bring. Whatever that means for you. dark in here today. Hi, hi someone. Welcome. I'm still alive. Technical things. Technical things. Okay, it is exactly 4.30, which means it's that magical time for us to enjoy a Tabata HIIT workout together. Please pay no attention to my sick space of the past week. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started standing. You're welcome to wear shoes. I'm not gonna wear shoes because I'm inside now. Just trying to be polite for my neighbor. Let's go ahead and get started with just some Breathing and some shoulder rolls, little lateral side to side step tap. If you're anything like me, you've been sitting in your chair at your desk for way too long today. Go ahead and change directions of those shoulder circles. Just really want to encourage you to warm up that upper body, start to find some engagement in your abs. Let's go ahead, just switch to some opposite arms crossing each other as you give yourself a nice little hamstring curl. Oh my gosh. Words are not my strong suit this week. Let's go ahead and switch these arm crossovers to a little bit more of a cactus pullback. So palms facing down towards the floor. Start thinking about pointing that knee down towards the floor a little bit more, really doing your best to pick that heel up as if you're gonna kick your glute, but a little bit of that knee pointing back, a little extra engagement of those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, let's be kind to ourselves. Just gonna reach up, alternating sides. Oh, find that reach that feels good for you today. And remember, Stay in control of your breath right now. We're just warming up at the moment. Rounding those feet down through the floor, pulling that belly in nice and tight. Feel free to reach a little extra hard here for four, three, two, one. Beautiful, bring those arms out to the side, pull your belly in nice and tight. Hinge forward, bring those hands down towards the floor in front of you and you can walk your hands as far in front of you as you need to. I just want you to bend one knee and then the opposite knee and start to shake out any anything that's just hanging out in those hips and those glutes today. Great, let's go ahead and turn this one into an inchworm. So walking yourself all the way out into a plank and then pressing yourself back up. You don't have to stand all the way up. Just warming up that body. We do have a couple plank intervals coming up today, as you saw. 
Let's do three more right here. Then we're gonna bring those hips down towards the mat for just a nice long up, upward dog stretch. Two. Last one. Walk it out, walk it in. And one last time, we're just gonna walk it out. As you come out of here, you can walk your feet out a little bit more, bring that pubic mound down towards the mat, untuck your toes, tops the feet down towards the floor, open up your chest, engage your back, stretch your eyes, nose, chin, up towards the ceiling. Press into those hands, palms, lift your chest, engage your back, pull that belly in tight, and change, being kind to our backs. Bring your hips back towards your heels for a nice big child pose. Nice stretch happening on those shoulders. Once more, go ahead, bring yourself back up to tabletop. Give yourself a couple cat cows. Now, maybe it's because I'm not feeling one hundred, but I'm already feeling pretty warm. So I hope that you guys are feeling a little bit warm as well. I encourage you to curl those toes under, send your hips up towards the ceiling, walk those feet in. And as you lift yourself up, come into some sort of either a boxer shuffle or maybe into a lateral step hop. And let me talk you through move number one that we're gonna go for today. We're, we are, by we are I mean you, are gonna do eight rounds of something awesome, six different times. We're gonna start off with some ab work. So we got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do the right side, right arm, left leg four times. Then you're gonna do left arm, right leg four times. We're gonna stick with the same move for the first four rounds. Okay, so the first move of the day, you know what, I just realized we need to be at an angle, that's okay. All right, you're gonna go for an elbow to knee crunch, lifting yourself up. Extend your arm out above you if you need to use your opposite hand on the floor for a little bit of leverage to help lift yourself up as you reach for your toe. That's the whole move. So crunch, really think about bringing your elbow to the outside of the knee and then lifting yourself up. If you need to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you can always also bend the opposite knee, the one you're not lifting for a little bit more rounding into the floor. Maybe you don't lift yourself all the way up as high as I did. Maybe you keep that lower back down. All you can do today is your best. I'm right there with you guys. We start in three, two, one. Here we go. So elbow to knee crunch. You can lift up as much as feels good for you and then tap that toe. Take a couple rounds. Really focus on keeping that belly pulled in nice and tight. And then once you've got the move, you can add a little bit of speed here as well, but make sure you're still pulling that belly in as much as you can. Take a break. And there's no shame of keeping your lower back down on the mat, even keeping your head down. We're keeping your shoulders down a little bit. But we're to bring it all up at the same time. Here we go, once more. So I have my opposite arm bent so that my forearm is down on the mat to help give me a little bit of stability. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Ab work after not feeling so great for two weeks is hard. Yes, keep going, take a break, take a break. We got two more rounds on this side. All we can do is our best. In three, two, one, here we go. Use that exhale to lift yourself up. Even if you're not quite at that awesome, awesome, amazing speed that you might have dreamed you had today, what can you consistently keep doing? One more time coming through on this side after this. Take a break. Oh. All right, last time on the right starts right now. What can you do? Remember, you can take it easier on yourself, maybe a little moving a little bit slower. I'm definitely demonstrating one of the super modified options right now. But I encourage you, bring that elbow across your body as much as you can. Work into those obliques. Last time through, right arm, left leg. Take a break. We've moved on now. Left arm, right leg starts in three, 
two, one, here you go. So elbow towards knee, crossing if you can, and then reach for that toe. I'm gonna stick with this modified option because we have five more exercises to go after this. But if you are feeling good, you know what I say, do not save it for the end, take a break. Don't save it for the end. If you need to take a break later, you take a break later. Push yourself as hard as you can right now in three, two, one, here you go. Using that breath, exhale each time. Things come closer where that ab work. Remember, you're working to decrease this space between your lower rib and your hip. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take such a nap after this class. This is exercise number one. Take a break. <laughs> ah, this is like the most I've talked in days. Three, two, one, here we go. Remember, you can make it even easier by bending your opposite knee. It's gonna be a little bit easier, especially if you're not super strong in those lower abs particularly. To be a little bit more stable with this bent knee, you do what you gotta do to keep going. Take a break. I think we got one more. One more. Yes, we start in three, two, one. Here you go, last round. Find that extra little crunch and twist. Get that elbow close, even towards your opposite hip if you can. Oh my gosh, whose abs are feeling it? Tell me when we finish this round, which we just did. Uh, 10 seconds to yourself. Okay. Grab some water if you want it or need it. Got a delightful variety of beverages here with me today. pH balanced alkaline water and coconut water. What are your guys' favorite things to stay hydrated? Drinking a lot of watermelon water. Okay, next up we've got around even and odd. So we're gonna switch it up, but we got planks the whole time through. So that's gonna be a plank. Let's go for a straight arm plank, this round of planks, because you got forearm planks coming up in a hot minute. I'm gonna turn this direction. Make sure I have space. Okay, so for round one, we're gonna go for a plank with a shoulder tap. I want you to really work as you're doing your shoulder tap to not rotate your body as much as possible. Do your best to keep your hands, palms underneath of your shoulders, and notice if your hands start to creep out in front of you, and your glutes start to come back towards the back of your mat, and your heels start to come down. Really do your best to bring that body forward, and there's no shame in doing your shoulder taps right here on your knees and keeping those glutes engaged and that belly tight and those hips long because we're not trying not to be here in tabletop. You can if you have to. We're not doing down dog. We're doing a plank with a shoulder tap. Then for our opposite move, if you can be in a full plank, you're just going to go for either a leg lift or if you want, you can lift it up, tap it out. Your choice, but still really working to keep those hands palms underneath of your shoulders. Switching between upper body a little bit of balance challenge, lower body balance challenge starts in three, two, one. Here we go. All right, we're in it to win it. So first off, I'll stay on my knees. Let's be cool. We've got these shoulder taps. So find a spot just a little in front of you to focus your eyes. You don't wanna have your chin really far away from your chest or super tucked towards your chest, nice neutral chin. Pull that belly in nice and tight. Secret ab work happening right here and take a break. Whatever you wanna do for your 10 seconds, you can cat cow it out, you can hang out in child's pose. Do a little bit of both, three, two, we got those leg lifts. So if you need to be on your knees and modify, you can still tap one knee out to the side or maybe even think about bringing one knee up towards uh, your elbow as a mountain climber if you need to be on your knees, if you're on your toes. Think about getting that lift and extension to the side if you can. Bring it back down, 10 seconds to yourself. Back to those planks with shoulder taps. Three, two, one. All right, 
make sure those hands palms are underneath of your shoulders. Pull that belly in nice and tight. Focus with those eyes. Worst case scenario, can you just hang out in your plank? Can you hang out in your modified plank? Are you still breathing? Please still be breathing. Three, two, take a break. Three down, you guys. Oh, we are powering through this. Thank goody goodness. Three, two, one, feet time. Either slow wide mountain climber or knee tap out towards the side or remaining in that lifted plank, getting some sort of a glute work happening, lifting up and tapping that toe out as well. Take a break. Yay, we're halfway through this move. Halfway through move number two. Three, two, one. Back to those shoulder taps. Make sure you're not wearing those shoulders as earrings. Opening up your chest, engaging your back, engaging your belly. Take your time. The slower that you move, the more you have to engage. Take a break, as opposed to using that speed. Uh, back to those feet. Three, two, one. Hands, palms underneath of your chest. Open your back. Activate that back with that open chest. Tapping out towards the side with those straight legs or bringing those knees towards your elbows. Three, two, one, take a break. Three, two, last time with those shoulder taps. Here we go. at yourself you guys I'm laughing at myself right now I can't believe I'm doing this I'm proud of myself though three two one one more time with those toes oh I looked in the mirror the other day and I was like Jessica where did your abs go three two one last time through Get that leg work happening. Make sure you're still really pressing those hands, palms into the floor. No tenting of your hands on the floor to get that big engagement in your upper body as well. Three, two, one, yay. Oh, exercise number two is done. It's not a tear, it's sweat. We got one more on the floor, you guys. One more on the floor before we stand up. All right. Ow. Lay down on your backs. Keep those knees bent. We're gonna bring our hands, palms in front of us. So for this next one, we're gonna go for a three directional reach through. I want you to really focus on pulling that lower belly in and pressing that lower back down on the mat and keeping this area of your lower back down on the mat. So depending on how strong your core is, some of you might be able to lift up very far and get your hands between your thighs to the left, between and to the right. And for some other people to keep that lower back down, it might be a much smaller reach. And that's totally okay. You're gonna do the best that you can with your body that you have today. And that's all that we're doing for this one is keeping that lower belly in, keeping those feet on the floor and reaching in three directions, center, middle, center, and side. Starts in three, two, one, here we go. I want you to take your time here. Really focus on holding on your exhale with that reach. This one's gonna seem really easy as you get started, but it gets more challenging as time goes through. Now, you can move a little bit faster if you're also, take a break, breathing a little bit faster. And if you wanna work even harder, think about bringing those legs up in tabletop, but keeping your knees on top of your hips or out in a wide V and begin again. I'm just gonna hang out here in this easier modification for today. As you lift your 
chest and shoulders up off of the mat to keep the pain out of your neck. Make sure that you are lifting those shoulders as well. So it's not just lifting your neck and taking a gentle reach with those fingers. Everything is coming up at one time. Your chin stays neutral towards your chest. Take a break. Really trying to find that extra reach also with your fingers at the end of your exhale. Oh, and we're back in. I somehow lost track of time a little bit there, you guys. I apologize. <laughs> take a break, take a break. All right, we got this timer now. Four, three, two, belly tight, here we go. Remember, you can move a little bit faster if you breathe a little faster, so. Or move slower. Inhale down. Just find that reach on your exhale each time. Take a break. Ugh, oh my gosh. Three, two, one, here we go. So I'm still finding with my feet on the floor, some grounding of my feet down through the floor, heels, big toes, pinky toes. Working our abs, but a little bit of a recovery exercise here as well. Can we get up onto our feet after we finish this one? So enjoy it while you can. Use that breath, belly tight. Take a break. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. i like deaf right now. I'm sorry. I blame my health. Three, two, one. Here we go. Find that reach, you guys. Take a break. Three, two, one, back in. Take your time on this lowering down on your exhale, especially if you're not really focusing on speed here, if you're focusing more on the contraction of decreasing the space between your ribs and your lower hip for three, two, one. Enjoy your break. I think this is our last one. Three, two, one. It is now. Here we go. Make sure you're not wearing that chin on your chest. Halfway. Three, two, one. Nice work. Take a moment down here. Just draw those knees in towards your chest. You can even open them out nice and wide or keep them together if you want. We're just gonna make some nice little circles here pulling those knees in towards your chest giving yourself a nice little massage on that lower back on that sacrum just in case things got tired during your crunches <clears throat> go ahead change the direction of your knee circles don't make fun of me fred all right and then make your way to your feet grab some water on your way there Ugh, we've only got two standing moves for today Oh my gosh. Last three moves right now, you guys, halfway through. All right, so next up, odds and evens. Once again, we're gonna go for some squats. We're gonna go for some squat pulses to be for really those though. Uh, so important things to think about in your squats. What we're doing our narrow leg squat, really keeping the weight in your heels so that you're reaching for that chair behind you as opposed to bringing the weight into your toes so that your heels lift up off the floor. If you do find that doing a narrow leg squat still encourages you to get your feet or to lift your feet up off the floor, 
Think about grabbing a towel, something that you can kind of fold up or folding up your mat a little bit more underneath of your feet so that it's a little bit more raised so that you can find that support. Or if you really need to, you know, just hovering over here by the couch as much as possible to really work towards keeping the weight in your heels instead of in your toes. So squat number one obviously is that nice narrow leg squat. Squat number two, we're gonna open our feet out nice and wide. So your knees are pointing in the same direction as your toes. You're gonna come on down nice and low for this goddess squat. So what I want you to avoid during this goddess squat is again, bringing the weight into your toes so that your knees come in towards each other. You're really doing your best to almost get your knees, hips in line with your shoulders. Everything nice and lifted as if you were smashed up against the wall to get a little bit more engagement on those inner and outer thighs. All right, so odds and evens, starting off with that narrow squat in three, two, one, here we go. So if you need to be kind to yourself while you're pulsing, maybe because you know, you've been like sick for a week or two, you don't have to go all the way down here every single time for your squat pulse. You can always be a little bit higher, especially if you have some knee issues. Just stay down there for three, two, one. Take a break. Nice work. Shake it out. Start to shake out that lactic acid. Start to walk your feet out. Whoa. All right, here we go for a nice little goddess squat and pulse. You can always keep your hands on your hips here as well. If you find that balance is an issue, I challenge you to come down as low as you can. Teeny little pulse here. You're not bouncing super high. You're in control down here at the bottom. Weight stays in your heels and take a break. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, walk those feet a little bit closer. Find that engagement of your belly, weight in your heels, open your chest. Three, two, here we go. Pulsing it out. As low as you can be today, you guys. So first I want you to sit down and find that engagement in your glutes, stretching your glutes out behind you. You can stretch those hands out behind you, in front of you. Oh my gosh, a little bit of counterbalance. Take a break. Yay. Open those feet out nice and wide. Three, two, bend those knees. Think about really opening those knees nice and wide, teeny pulse in control right here. Keep that chest lifted. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Are we halfway? I think we are. Back to that narrow leg squat. Three, two, one weight in your heels. Do your best to keep that chest lifted as well. Notice what's happening with your feet. Are you bringing the weight to the outside, to the inside of your feet, or are you equally grounding down on the floor in front of you? Keep that belly tight. Three, two, one. Nice work. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like so. Nice and wide. Knees pointing in the same direction of your toes. Go ahead, sit down, begin. Keeping that chest open, hands on your hips can really help you keep that lift. You're more than halfway there, you guys. If you need to stand up for a second, you stand up, come right back in. Three, two, one. <laughs> one more of each, one more of each. Whew. Three, two, one, here we go. Yay, we get to come back onto the floor after this and challenge upper body and abs again. Planks. <laughs> Planks. Can you get a little bit lower? Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Last time. Oh my God, my head hurts. With this goddess squat. Who is persevering? Come on, girls. Come on, girls. It's exercise time. Totally had Troop Beverly Hills stuck in my head. If you're also a big fan of that movie, love to hear about it. Three, two, one. Oh my God, we made it. Oh, we made it, you guys. 
Grab yourself some water again. Not too much because we're coming back down into that prone position towards the mat. I want everyone to keep everything down. It's very important to me. Everyone's got to keep it in. Okay, one more. One more upper body ab focus exercise on the floor. One more standing balance. Lower body exercise to finish with. All right, so next up, we're gonna do our forearm plank, and then we're gonna do a saw. A little bit of a saw action down here on the flizzor. All right, so if you're hanging out in your regular plank, you can work even harder by not interlacing your hands and having those palms down on the floor. I want you to make sure that you start with your elbows underneath of your shoulders and get into the best plank position that you can. You're gonna just rock forward and back a little bit right here. If you need to take it a little bit easier on yourself, think about bringing those hands palms together. Think about dropping down on your knees. We're just gonna really get some awesome work in the shoulders while also working our abs, keeping ourselves supported. Okay, do whatever you can. Thanks for coming. We start in three, two, one. Here we go. So this is a really great opportunity to get a little bit more dexterity in those feet. You don't have to worry quite as much also about being in this perfect heels aligned on top of toes position, just enjoying that range of motion. Take a break. Same thing every round. Three, two, one, here we go. If you're finding that's a little bit too hard for you though and you need an alternate, you can always just work towards dropping one knee and then the other, as you can see, it's still gonna bring that dexterity into your feet. Just a little bit less emphasis on the challenging changing your shoulders. Three, two, one. Awesome. Yay, you're welcome for another option, you guys. We're gonna move back to saw for this next one though. Three, two, one. One, so you can even be sawing right here on your knees. If you need that modification, working to bring yourself forward and then back. Four, three, two, one, take a break. Okay, now you've seen three different options of moves that you can do. If you need to Keep up even odds, do that knee drop right now. Here we go, round four. Sometimes I find that working the same muscles pretty much, just slightly changing the exercise throughout the Tabata round, uh, can be such a good distraction for your mind. Three, two, take a break. Sometimes the repetition is the hardest part. Three, two, one, here we go. Feeling it in these here shoulders. Make sure you're still breathing. Chin away from your chest. Three, two, one. Take a break. We're more than halfway, you guys. Three, two, one, here we go. Oh, I'm just gonna hang out here, honestly. Just gonna hang out for this round. Keep it up, don't look at me. Three, <laughs> two, one, take a break. A oh, cool break, yay, I love those. Let's take one together. All right, last two rounds. What can you do in three, two, one? Jump back in, that's what I'm gonna do. What can you do with your body today? Remember, every day is different. How do you feel? How did you eat? How did you sleep? Take a break. Have you been sick for two weeks? I mean, whatever. Give yourself a break sometimes, you guys. Last round. Three, two, one. Here we go right now. 
You're not going to win the race every single day. You can still show up though. Show up every freaking day, you guys. And all the, the only person you need to be stronger than is yourself. Take a break. That's not just physically, that's about mental strength too. And sometimes showing up is the mental strength. So congratulations if you made it this far for showing up. We got one more move. Bam, let's stand up. I'm gonna tell you about it. All right, just like we started, right side and then left side, we're gonna finish. Oy vey, Zmir. Right side and then left side. Make some space for yourself. So we're gonna go for a curtsy lunge into a front kick. Your front kick can be as high or as low as feels appropriate for your body today. I'm gonna push this back a hinty, like Henderson. Good stuff. Look, you have a head. Okay, so you're gonna find some balance. Let's start with the balance on the left leg. You're gonna step or cross back. I challenge you to curtsy as much as you can. Try not to turn your hips towards the opposite wall. Doing your best to keep your hips squared towards the front as you come into that nice deep lunge and then standing up and kicking. If you can go without putting your right foot down on the floor the whole time between your lunge and your kick, awesome, great way to challenge your balance. But if you need to go from your lunge, step it in and then kick, please do whatever makes you feel the most stable. I do encourage you to challenge yourself at least once though. All right, starting with this right side, so rounding that left foot down into the mat, find some engagement through that leg, pull your belly in, open your chest, shoulders away from ears, find that lifted length to begin with. You are amazing, and you start in three, two, one, here we go. So hands at your hips, it's gonna help you with that bounce. If you don't feel like you need hands at your hips, you can bring your hands to heart center for a little bit more of a challenge. Arms up overhead. I'm gonna challenge your balance even more. Three, two, one, take a break. The more that you bring this knee down towards the mat uh, during your lunge, the more you're gonna get that heart rate up here at the end as well. Round two, here we go. Now remember, your kick doesn't have to be as high as my kick is today. I'm like, get out of here. Whatever bug has been inside of me for a week, yeah. And also, your lunge, or your curtsy lunge, or your step back, take a break. It can be whatever you need it to be. You're probably gonna start feeling that a little bit. That left leg, left glute. Two more on this side. Three, belly in, here we go. We've already got two rounds through. So, can you pick up the speed a little bit this time? Not that you should be stepping your foot back and bam, slamming into that foot. I still want you to control your landing, so slow things down as you come into this curtsy lunge. Oh my gosh. Oh, one more time on the right side. Three, two, here we go. you guys don't stop five four three two one right side is done shake it out make sure you have space we're switching to the left in three two here we go now start easy on that left side remember each side of our body is not the same kick to the front hips stay square to the front best that you can the whole time. How much can you bring that back knee down towards the mat? And you're standing up, driving power, take a break through your front heel, through the heel, not the toe. Three, two, one, here we go. to the grocery store yesterday and I literally only brought home bananas, coconut water. I was like, Jessica, take a break. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I'm on a delightful 
But now I'm not diet. No. Here we go, you guys. I think this is our last one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We made it. Don't stop now. We're almost there. We've almost made it. Looks like we made it. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, keep a little movement going. Grab some water. Holy moly. We're going to start our stretches out in just about one minute from standing. Ooh, oh my gosh, who's feeling it right here? Me. All right, so still making sure you got a little bit of movement going as you gently work to bring those heart rates down, especially if you went for that big, uh, big curtsy lunge, getting that knee down towards the floor before you went for that kick. It's a real great way to just increase the cardio of your move. All right, I want you to stand with your feet, about shoulders width distance apart. Just shake those hips a little bit side to side. Heel toe those feet out just a little bit wider. And start to add a little bit of a bend of those knees in side to side. Remember, whatever direction your knees are pointing, you want your toes in that direction as well. So if your knees are going forward right now, toes are facing forward, and if your knees are going out towards the side, toes are going out towards the side. And just pick a side. We're going to come into a nice little side lunge right here on your bent leg, equally grounding your weight through that foot. And on your straight leg, make sure that you're pressing the outer edge of your, of your Put into the floor. You can hang out right here nice and lifted if you want to come a little bit deeper. Reach those fingertips down towards the mat and feel that increase on the stretch of your inner thighs. For three, two, one, come on over to that opposite side. Find some length once again, shoulders away from your ears. You can even start to allow your head to relax down towards the floor. Two more slow breaths right here. I'm just going to turn sideways for this next one. Awesome. All right, so go ahead, straighten your legs and start to walk your hands forward a little bit. I want you to resist the urge of stretching your hips towards the back of your room here. And do your best to stack your hips on top of your heels so that as you hinge forward, your hands palms are right underneath of your shoulders, or maybe you're even reaching a little bit more forward, really focusing on kind of spiraling your inner thighs towards the wall behind you. If it's easy for you to straighten those legs, next up you're going to work on straightening your spine. So no chin super tucked towards the chest, that increases rounding. You're not looking for something behind you. Look down between your big and second toes, like you're a turtle and there's a nice crunchy piece of fresh lettuce right there between your feet. So you can work to really just start to relax your upper body and chest. Once again, finding some space between your shoulders and your ears. If you're feeling really flexible, you can walk those hands back behind you. But again, resist the urge to bring your hips towards the back of the room. Really work to stack those hips on top of your heels. Really pressing your toes down in towards the mat. Big engagement on those legs. If you walked your hands through, walk them back in front of you. Let's just take a couple of assisted squats right here. So just go ahead, bend your knees and lift. Four more, bend your knees. You might even wanna walk your feet out a little bit wider as we're doing this. Three more, good, we're gonna come on down into a squat. We're gonna hang out in that nice little hip opener. And two, one more, lift and lower. One, lift it up, get ready to drop it down into that squat. Yay, you can bring your elbows a little bit closer in. 
Sometimes I like to keep my hands on the floor here and that's totally okay. You can kind of do a little modified skandasana of shifting the weight from one leg towards the other, hanging out here in the squat. Doesn't really feel the best for you. I really love to kind of shift it side to side before I do my best to relax my heels down towards the floor, opening the hips. It's okay if your heels don't come all the way down towards the floor and it's okay if you keep your hands here the whole time. In three, we're gonna lift up. Two, one, lift those hips up towards the ceiling once more. Go ahead, heel toe those feet in towards each other with a nice generous bend of your knee. Then one leg and then the other. Take your chin away from your chest. Do your best to really sandwich your belly on your thighs. So you're bringing the weight back towards your heels instead of towards your toes. It's nice and stable. Start to bring your hands down towards the mat. As they get there, walk your feet back. Bring your knees down towards the mat. Give yourself a couple cat cows right here. Ooh, find what feels best for your body today. A couple little shimmies, a couple little shakes. Great, go ahead, cross your legs over behind you. Walk your hands back. We're gonna sit back onto our bums. Yay, we made it into easy pose. All right, so from here, we're gonna finish with a spine twist for today. Just twisting all that junk out of our backs, you guys. We're gonna be easy with our spine twist. So keeping your left leg in front of you, you go ahead, bring your hands by your hips for a little bit of balance. You're gonna pick your right leg up and cross it over your left. Your right hand comes behind you close by the base of your spine like a kickstand and your left arm comes up and over. And if you happen to have a mat or a towel here or something that you can grab to help you open your shoulders, find a little bit of lifted leg, find that, pull your belly in. Once you're lifted and open, use your breath to exhale and turn your chin towards that right shoulder. If you find you don't need your kickstand hand, you can always lift it up and reach towards your left hip crease Still focus on drawing that right elbow back, chest open, back working, belly tight, length through the crown of your head. Take one more deep inhale, high bend. On your exhale, release, bring your right hand back down, slowly, gently twist forward, and then release your left hand, uncross your legs. If you need to, you can even bob your knees when she'll wipe your feet right here. With that right leg kicked out in front of you, cross your left leg up and over, Find your lifted leg, always starting with that length, especially while you're stretching. Left hand fingertips come close by the base of your spine and your right arm comes up and over and see if you got something here to grab, a mat, a towel, your thigh, whatever. Open your chest, engage your back, pull your belly in tight. Once you found this lifted leg and engagement, start to turn your chin towards that left shoulder. Make sure you're not rounding right here, so still finding that big open lifted leg. Drawing that left elbow behind you if you don't need your kickstand hand. You can always reach that towards your right hip crease. Take two more breaths right here. Find the place to relax your eyes, relax your mind. What is that? Mm -hmm. So much. Three, two, one. Awesome. Release yourself forward. Go ahead, fold those legs in. Let's take one more moment right here. You're worth it in child's pose. Send your hips back towards your heels. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Relax your head down towards the floor. Allow your head to come below heart's level to just slow that heart rate down. Back to your breath. This is a great opportunity to thank yourself for making this time and space and movement for you today. Feel free to hang out, relaxing here, coming back to your breath and child's pose as long as you need to. Whenever you're ready, you can pull yourself back towards tabletop, tuck those toes under, walk your hands to your feet, your feet to your hands, and just make sure you take your time as you slowly round up. Find one more opportunity to inhale your arms up. Oh, find that length, that stretch, that big breath, and exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Yay! We made it, you guys. I'm shocked. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you guys all. 
for coming today for all of your well wishes for the past week i'm really looking forward to doing some yoga with you later this week if you guys have any questions or concerns about anything that we said or did today please reach out can't wait to see you all again soon happy monday